Hello, Henry Lowengard again with an E-Ray. What am I doing? I'm doing something that I have been doing for decades, literally, which is making a visual spectral synthesizer. You draw the spectrum and in real time, it creates a sound that corresponds to it. Um, E-Ray doesn't have the API yet so that I can't draw on the screen here yet. But uh, this is an XY controller and I'm telling you where it is by uh, sneakily moving the x-axis over regularly. It's actually using um, the timing signals that are coming from the E-Ray, the MIDI clocks, 24 per beat. So this is currently 16 beats wide. And uh, here's what it is. Oh, because I was having trouble with getting pressure to act like uh, mouse down, mouse up, I'm using this button here to be my mouse down, mouse up so that it's very unambiguous and I don't have to fiddle around with pressure levels. So let's just watch. There, I've drawn something. Oh, look, whoop-de-doo. Here, we'll start it over again. And I'll draw another line. And we like to have a few, like, harmonics up here. So it's just going through it in a loop like we always do. Um, I can change the length of that loop. It can be very fast. Or it can be slow, which is the way I also like things. And we can, of course, change what the high frequency is. We'll make it a low high frequency or a high high frequency. Let's uh, have any dogs in the house. Um, and there's some other tricks left over from uh, concepts in RGS, which are here. For example, these buttons are different drawing modes. So for example, this is just a normal note. Very nice. And now this is using what I used to call a harmonic handle. What you're drawing is, in this case, the fourth harmonic. So this is the fourth harmonic, and it makes the other harmonics underneath it. Much nicer sound. I will probably have ways to make that even crazier. Um, for example, you can crank this harmonic all the way up to 16. So pick a nice high one. It's really cute, but right now I've, I've actually drawn 64 things in here. You can't see them because you can't see them, but they're there. And you can prove that the pressure is um, the pressure is the amplitude by making this very light, and now hard, and now light, and hard again. So it's picking that all up. Now, truth be told, this is only 127 by 127 because this is a MIDI device. So it's not super accurate. That's why the harmonic maker is useful because it can draw things that you physically couldn't draw on the, uh, accurately on the tablet. What is another fun trick besides that harmonic one, which I'll turn off? Um, it is a thing called copy regularly, which means that it will make a copy, an echo, of what you're drawing. So here we'll just do a squiggle. I told to do four of them. All right, for people who like loops that have repeating parts in it, you've got your loop with a repeating part in it. And of course, this can go up to 16 too. So we'll make a, a bunch of them like this. It has some automatic gain control, which sometimes gets a little confused, so sometimes you turn the gain up. So those are 16. What if we uh, add to that, in our typical way, uh, something with a 4? So that would be, usually that's a sort of a low beat on 4s.
and we can put a two in. And the cool thing is that even works with these harmonic. Oh, this guy is a different kind of harmonic handle. It only has the odd harmonics. Huh. It sounds like farting right now, so I'll change the gain. And uh, actually, if, uh, if you go past the repeating spot, it'll just be drawing out here where it's not playing. So it's kind of a useful effect also. So let's see that again. This is on twos. We'll do a... That's kind of low, isn't it? We'll, we'll crank this up. And now we'll put in uh, another eight on this. There we go. It just sort of sounds like a washing machine. Um, anyway, so that's like the state of where it is now. Of course, this can be also very, very slow. Not very, 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 very slow, but it can be very slow. And I can move some of the controls onto here, but I really like the empty interface. You need as much space to draw as possible. Here's another problem, which is my finger keeps mushing this over to the corner here. Yeah, it uh, needs to be more securely attached. But, um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm not repeating anything. I'm putting down a simple one, so it's like you could draw. So that's an H. And here's an I. I'm doing something that if you looked at it with a spectrogram, you would see something. Exclamation point, how about that? There you go. Um, more as this develops, obviously. Uh, I would love to have the spectrum displayed here. I'd like to have zoom in and zoom out. If it was displayed, then the zoom in and zoom out would make more sense. But it doesn't make sense right now. Anyway, that's all for now.